Hello, my name's Kurt Schrader. I'm your current congressman for the 5th Congressional District. I'm a veterinarian, a farmer, and a small businessman. Started my veterinary business 35 years ago from scratch and my farm a little over 20 years ago. Uh, I know what it's like to have things at risk every single day. Uh, I know how difficult it is to meet a payroll. I know how difficult, difficult it is to even keep a business running. Uh, I think I know what a lot of businessmen and women are going through right now, and I think that's important uh, if you want to represent the folks from Oregon uh, in the United States Congress. You have to understand where they've been. Also, I've raised a family, five children, uh, so I have that background also that I understand how people are struggling to keep their jobs, keep their homes right now. And that's been a major focus of uh, what I've done in Congress. I brought Oregon values uh, to Washington, D.C. I believe strongly in uh, uh, individual opportunity. I believe strongly in personal responsibility, and I believe in community. And I think those are the hallmarks of what uh, uh, Oregonians are all about. And they guide me in my decisions back there in D.C. Uh, I've been successful, I think, for Oregon and for the 5th Congressional District in particular. We were able to bring the NOAA fleet down from Seattle and uh, get it situated on the central Oregon coast, bringing huge economic benefits to a region that's been suffering for quite some time. Here in the Salem area, we've been able to make sure that the Mill Creek Industrial Park gets off on a uh, good foot and uh, hopefully going to be the, the regional hub for economic activity here in the mid Willamette Valley. Uh, we've got the Hubler Interchange that we helped get money for. Now the Woodburn Interchange, finally going to be developed, that bottleneck on I-5 is going to be relieved and uh, the community will grow and we'll be able to get our freight and economic activity up and down the highway and help our region grow even more. I've been very uh, hard at work trying to work for our veterans communities. We actually got the Dallas Armory uh, refurbished so it's a decent place for men and women to work and train in. Uh, our warriors deserve that I think at the end of the day. We've been very, very successful in helping get research dollars for the farming community. Uh, personal relationship with the Secretary of agriculture and making sure that the ranking member and chairman of the Ag Committees understand how important those research dollars are for the Pacific Northwest. Frankly, we're the first person to serve on the Ag Committee from the Pacific Northwest since Bob Smith. That must be 15, almost 20 years ago. And we've been very successful for our seniors and uh, veterans getting the benefits they've earned and deserved back into their hands uh, uh, after they've been denied in many cases. Over a million and a half dollars uh, for those deserving senior members of our community. And we work home uh, hard on the home foreclosures uh, front also, trying to make sure that people get a fair shake and an opportunity to stay in their home uh, if it's at all possible. Also been very uh, busy working on the national level. Uh, we were able to avoid a Great Depression. When I came into office, we were lo losing over 700,000 jobs a month. That's been changed. We're also able to make sure that Wall Street starts to get reined in a little bit. A uh, big part of and a uh, big cause of that 2008 debacle was Wall Street, gambling with our money, uh, gambling with everyone's money, uh, with homes, uh, mortgages. It was terrible. Uh, we've put uh, new regulations back in play that used to be there before were taken out uh, uh, and, you know, frankly, led to this big debacle. We've also done a good job in starting a patient-centered health care system, not just here in Oregon, but nationally. I think Oregon's going to be a leader that way, and Oregon's going to benefit uh, uh, seniors are going to be able to actually see doctors and not be denied uh, the opportunity to get the care they need and deserve. Uh, we're also on the road to energy independence. Uh, Oregon is a leader, as you know, in the renewable energy in particular, whether it's biomass in our forests, wind on the plains here, uh, solar, uh, at least for a few more days here in Oregon, and then uh, wave energy now on the coast. Uh, very exciting developments, frankly. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, the, even in this tough Congress, we're able to get uh, Budget Control Act passed that uh, reigns in spending over a trillion dollars over the next 10 years, a uh, trade bill that actually uh, promotes uh, uh, our ability to sell goods and services to Korea, uh, creating a lot of great jobs here, patent reform, Jobs Act for small businesses to get their ideas to market so that small businesses can lead us out of this recession. But there's more work to do, folks, more work to do, and I want to be part of that. Uh, worked hard with Greg uh, uh, Walden and Peter DeFazio on a forest bill, trying to put people back to work in the woods, uh, help our small rural communities be successful just like the urban communities. We need to pass the farm bill, bipartisan bill, came out of my agriculture committee. I think we're real close to getting that done. And make sure we got our fiscal cliff under control, get our debt and deficit under control, and I'm a leader in that area. Please vote for me, and I'll work for you.